that on. Never do my head. Oh search. god, that would be disgusting. Yeah, just one day. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> the, yeah. the, the trend of switching to family Lots of press and growing. Oh. A off and turn inside off. And then B on. And He's outside, outside of here and out there. Yep. Okay. I'll just leave the A on for now. Money. That's just radio. Money. Yep, this is just radio. Um, you do have an auxiliary cable in here, so if you have an iPhone or an iPad or an Android, you can plug auxiliary okay. and listen to music on your phone. Um, you have four charging ports here, uh, USB, so obviously you can plug an iPad in, mm -hmm. computer, um, phone, and such. So air conditioning is out the top, yep. heat's on the bottom. Yep, these are all your vents. Um, you can direction all these, um, so if you're Turn sleeping back here. Yep, you can either turn them or you can actually close. So, for instance, if you're sleeping and it's hot back here, you can close all those okay. and force the air in the back. It's just like a house, same thing. Mm -hmm. All right, TV. And this TV is on a pretty short. This is on a flat bracket. Yes, it is. So it doesn't move. Yeah. Um, so the, the main thing to know about the TVs is when you go to a different area, you're going to have to reprogram, auto-program your channels to that area. Yeah. If you're not plugged in the cable. Mm -hmm. And we'll get into all that because um, that'll be up front with your antenna booster. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see back here. Um, fan. Basically the way this fan works is you'll just open the hatch. Um, the last customer did put max air covers, which is very, I, I recommend that to every customer. Because now, what is max air cover? Um, a max air cover, basically, it will keep rain out of the coach if it rains, and this is open. Um, also, oh. Yeah. oh, I've seen it. Yeah, okay. Yep. The, the little it's just not open to the Correct. air up there. So it'll also allow airflow because it's vented, and um, it'll protect the lids. So your mm -hmm. lids to your vents, um, I usually about in Florida, six months, they start to deteriorate because yeah, the, the sun. sun. Yeah, so that'll kind of block that from happening so Good. these vents will last for years all right so you'll open the hatch up and then you have your fan on so you'll hit the fan on and there's different speeds now that's exhaust again. yep that's exhausting out correct so you got like three speeds yep four speeds four speeds yeah it's gonna be the slow speed and then fan off sweet and now the other fans the same way up there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Our bathroom. Oh, really quick before we leave. One more thing here. Um, this is going to be your slide. So you obviously retract and extend. Um, all you're going to do is to retract. Say we were going to retract, we just hold the button. Hold it down. And then the slide will slide in, extend, just hold out. Um. How do you know when it's it just Stops, yeah, there's no stop. sound, it just stops. No, it's not like the older slides that go pop, 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 pop. Yeah. It, this is a uh, okay. swing tech system, 12 volt system. So basically, when you press out, it'll stop. I always recommend to hold it for like a second after. Make sure it's all the way out. That way it gets, it, it, it'll it automatically reset itself oh. in line oh, okay. if you do that. Sometimes if you put it out and it's not straight, it'll come back in, kind of crooked. Oh. So if you hold it for a second after. Um, after you think it's out all the way, yep, hold it a little bit longer. Yep. Okay. Correct. And there's one for the Up other front, slide to yep. separate. And then that's just your like. bedroom light. Okay. Sweet. Right. Bathroom. Pretty simple. Um, no patch, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. So you got just a little dry spot. Storage. Stuff. <laughs> yep. You got storage underneath. Um, storage up top. Obviously, your light's going to be on that wall. Toilet. Um, with your toilet, this is a right kick flush, so your flush, is gonna, flush valve is going to be over here. Mm -hmm. um, if we hold it down, basically that's going to be a flush. Right. If you hold it down halfway, that'll fill the tank up with water. Right. Okay. Um, I do like boot. Yeah, I do recommend there's a uh, Thetford sells a product. This this will save the life for the uh, toilet, and these are things that are expensive, like nine uh, yeah. thousand dollars to replace. So um, there's a there's a stuff. It's it's um seal lube that they sell. Um, yeah, the seal rubber seal. Yeah, yeah, we had that problem on the boat. Remember, it was leaking. We had that. Yeah, that black seal. It'll make that seal last forever. And what's it called? Um, uh, it's made by Thetford. It's it's um, 
toilet seal lubricant. Something toilet seal. Any, yeah. Okay. And basically, you'll put it in and just let it sit there for a few minutes, and it, you'll, it'll swell that seal up so it doesn't get dry and yeah. flat every time. I would do it maybe like once every four months. Yeah. Um, but that'll save that seal. But then you, you, all the water's out of it when you're in storage, right? You just drain it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. And then you have out, one outlet up there. Yep. You got two outlets. That's going to be your main GFI for the coach. So your okay. reset's going to be right there. Ah, okay. So good. if you ever plug something in and it's not working, the check first that thing to do is check that. At least it's not hidden. Remember, the bolt was hidden in the yeah. kitchen cabinet way in the back. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even see it. Yeah. I'm a boat person, too. I oh, yeah, yeah. You know. I'm not Whoever a, designed boats never owned one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's the only outlet then for a hair dryer or anything? Yep, yep. For the bathroom. Yeah, that's gonna be we have two easy. plugs. There's two plugs there. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, we've got a wardrobe here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nice. The bar was able to be lowered. Yeah, yeah. it did lower it, not fix the hole. So yeah, yeah. You thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, and then you got your table. Mm hmm. Looks like it's never been used. Nah, they probably never taken it. Most people don't take I know. it. I know. It's more of a pain in the neck to put that. <laughs> I know, because you got to take all your clothes out to get yeah, to the exactly. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Two drawers of storage. And this is going to be access to your water, fresh water tank, um, which I did drain okay. for you guys, and um, your pump. Okay. A little easier access than the boat. Yes. <laughs> probably. You don't yeah, have to we, stand on your head. I got rid of mine. My grand, I grew we up got rid of both ours. We really? didn't learn the first time. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in like cabin cruisers and uh, yeah. bay liners and stuff like that out in Long Island. Uh, so. Pantry. Yeah, pantry drawers. Um, let's see if there's anything right here. Okay, really quick. Your pocket door. Um, you'll just press that to release the lock. Push it down. Okay. Slide it over. Same thing, press it down to release the lock. Where's that lock? Oh. Must lock up on top. Yeah, because there's nothing here. Yeah, there's, there's a locking system up here. Oh, okay. It locks it. it it'll see that little hole right there? That's what oh, it okay. And locks. Good. All right. Uh, refrigerator. Um, yeah, very important. Yeah, critical. <coughs> okay. With your fridge, basically, it is a LP gas and uh, 110 so shore power slash generator refrigerator um, You always want this fridge in auto All right, every single time you go camping. There's no reason to ever take it out of auto unless you're turning it off um, Auto means basically when you're plugged into shore power you unplug it automatically switches over to propane That way if you're going from one place to another place, you're not going to lose your food It'll keep that fridge. So the pilot is is always lit. Automatically lights itself. Oh, it, it, automatically. It on, only on gas. So in auto, basically, what the brain of the computer, which is right here, is telling the, the refrigerator is okay. I'm it's not. Sure I'm power. not getting 120. So right. I, I have to find a way to pull something to start me up. So it'll automatically pull from LP. Okay. If it's not plugged in when you're in auto, uh, you can just be in gas. Um, Why? Yeah, I wouldn't waste your propane like that it yeah. makes no sense um, you're better off just staying in auto now let me ask you this mm -hmm. in storage yep. we can't store this at our home due to okay. regulations yep. and say we're going to leave on a trip the next morning mm -hmm. always start this the night before I would say we give, don't have we don't give, have electric give yourself 24 to 48 hours um, optimal time is 48 hours um, a good time is 24 hours um, 24 hours will get the refrigerator cold enough to, to when you get where you're going, it'll be at temperature. Okay. Um, the worst thing you can do with these refrigerators, RV refrigerators, is load them up yeah. and then turn them off. It'll never take they'll forever. They'll never get cold. They'll yeah. never get cold. So, in other words, I can go over to the place where it's stored, yep. just throw that switch to gas, yep. walk just out. Just let me throw the gas, throw it on auto. Because auto is going to see that it's not getting 120 power. And then automatically so, switch over. So even with not turning pain. anything else on, yep. just go to auto. Correct. You will need your battery disconnect turned on. Um, right. Because it's pulling 12 volt yeah. to the board. So. Yep. So and that's then, what we would do. I go over the night before, throw that to auto. Yep. And then this is just your temperature setting for the fridge and freezer. Now, how about you? Always hear about fridges just set there. Say you're you're not going to use it for three months. Mm-hmm. 
Well, you can't leave it in auto the whole time. Well, uh, if you're not using it, um, so you're you saying prop you, these doors open. You, well, there's two ways of doing it. You can either open the doors, um, leave the doors open. Um, another easier way to do it is dryer sheets. Um, if you put dryer sheets in, like, say, put one up here, yeah, and then a couple in the fridge, that'll absorb all the moisture. Or you can use newspaper. I've seen a lot of people just lay newspaper down. And, and keep the doors closed. Yeah, and, oh, it, wow. and it keeps the mold out. Okay. Moisture. Well, what we're going to do, so if we can just leave it on auto now, it'll mm -hmm. start getting cold. Because yep. we're going to go from here right over to Encore okay. <laughs> to see if we can hook it up. And then yeah. I want to make sure I have your number. <laughs> if I get over we're just going to stay one night. Yeah, we're going to stay over there one night okay. just to see if we, I can hook it up yeah. and unhook everything. Okay. Then if I have any questions, you know, you guys aren't far away. <laughs> no, no. Okay, good. Okay, so that'll be your fridge. Um, obviously. Up top. That's my storage. I'm the only one that can reach that. You have one. All right. Um, let me jump on this side real quick. <clears throat> okay, this is your thermostat. Um, Coleman to me, this Coleman makes the best AC. I'm not a big fan of Medic. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be your air conditioner center. So cool BAC. Fan. System off. And your furnace. Um, that's basically fan in auto or system in auto, meaning that if we put the cold air on and we turn it down to 70, say, it hits 70, the system shuts off in auto. Um, if you have it in on or high on, low on, it's going to stay running all the time. So it's better to keep it in auto and whatever you're doing, heat or cool. Now the heat is propane. Yep, that's right. And you probably don't want to sleep with that um, cautious. Uh, it really doesn't. It's not going to hurt you. It's exhausted out of the coach. Um, there's no way for it to exhaust in the coach because it's hard piped out of the coach. Oh, okay. Um, so you can sleep with it or you can turn it, you know, down to like, I don't know, 75 or something like that. Yeah, that's what's yeah. comfortable. Well, right. we like it cool at night anyway. So yeah, and it doesn't too. get that cold down here. Uh, we're in Florida. <laughs> I, I don't plan on going up north when it's really cold. Are you guys originally from up north? Yeah, I grew up in New York, but we lived in Chicago for like 26 years or so. Okay. Yeah, I'm from we New York, too. Right? Whereabouts? <coughs> um, okay, uh, all over. Uh, I was born in Hackensack, New Jersey, oh, and yeah. then um, we lived in the Bronx, uh, Manhattan. Oh, downstate. I'm up uh, by Syracuse, Finger Lakes. Area, okay. So. Yeah, I lived in, I actually lived, well, I didn't, I guess you guys would call it like downstate. I lived in, I went to high school in Spring Valley. Yeah. Was in County. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, downstate. <laughs> it's not upstate, not yeah. considered upstate. Yeah. All right, uh, microwave, standard microwave, nothing. You know, you just basically put your food in at a preset time, and it will start, stop. Um, you can add 30 second intervals to whatever you're cooking just by hitting the start button again. That's basically it. Everything else is self-explanatory with frost, wait for frost. Um, your stove. All right, this folds up like that. Um, I don't know if I have the propane on right now, but basically you're gonna put it on light. Yeah, it is on. Um, hit the sparker. That's it. That's it. Yep. Pretty good. You have the adjustments for the. Yep. So you can go higher or lower. No, this the spark is for all three. Yep. Correct. It is not for the oven. Any oven in an RV is self light. You have to light it yourself. Okay. So you'll need a stick lighter for that. And I'll show you how that works right now. Yeah, you'll see most of these things have never been used. They all look brand new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who wants to cook in the oven? Yeah. Um, this one probably been turned on for the last time somebody showed it, and never again. Yeah. Um, but if you look down here, that's your pilot. Yeah. Okay. All you're gonna do is put a stick lighter here. You're gonna turn this on up here to pilot, where it says pilot. Mm -hmm. Push and hold, light that. Once it's lit, hold, hold. this down yeah. for 10, 15, yep. 20 seconds until that thermocoupler heats up. Once That's it, like my grill at home. That's yep. what you gotta do. Once okay. It, once it heats up, um, you'll just take your lighter out and turn to whatever desired temperature you want. All right, I don't think this is just uh, access. Yes. What's so that? all this is, it's basically an access, being that all this stuff is in the slide, 
that's going to be your wires and stuff that actually go out with the slide. What's the bag in there? What's the can? That's to, to protect those wires. Oh. Because they go in and out with okay. the slide. Yeah. It'll probably never go in there. Now, does that spark thing get turned off, or you no, always it's, leave it's just, it in? No, yeah, it's, it's always, it's always in. Just a spring load. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Put your hood light. Oh, got light under there. Vent. It does vent outside the coach. So okay. if you're cooking, you have smoke or something inside, it will vent out. Um, yeah, this this um, filter under here. Yeah. They never used it. It was in the bag when I came in. <laughs> I actually put it in here. So I don't think they did much cooking in the unit. All right. So basically, put your microwave plugs in and more storage. Adjustable shell. Is there just one outlet there? Yeah, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, they don't. They don't put two outlets because they don't want you to overload the circuit with the microwave on it because right. the microwave pulls a lot of amperage. Okay. Adjustable shelves up there. That's good. Yeah. Some more storage. And the sink. It's just like a sponge drawer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More storage. Um, turn on the pump real quick. Oh, actually, I took the water out. So oh, that's good. Good work. Um, basically, um, that's just going to be a stop button for it. That'll stop the water, and then this switches from sh um, sh stream to or spray. spray. To a regular. All right, you got your hot down. Hold up. Now, this unit has been winterized. What is That's that? when it comes from the factory. That, that they, it comes winterized because it comes from Indiana. Yeah. So. So can that sticker be taken off? Yeah. yeah just, okay. okay. Keep it on there. And then, what about underneath switches, lights? Uh, yep. Yeah, this is going to be your light for underneath here. Over the dinette. And an outlet up there. Okay, good. Good. Okay, you can short this all day. Okay, get down to the kind of important stuff right yeah. now. Um, generator. I'm gonna go unplug us real quick. Okay. So far so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Generally, you don't want to turn your generator on when you're plugged into shore power. Right. Um, your transfer switch will keep yeah. jumping, and it'll ruin the transfer yeah. switch. We so. had the same thing on the boat. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we always had the generator when we went out, because mm -hmm. that's the biggest problem. People yep. don't run the generator enough. So right. the guy says, just turn it on. It doesn't use hardly any gas. Right. So. But then when you come back, you had all the different switches. Of course, mm -hmm. as you know, the panels were a lot yeah, more complicated yeah. than that. <laughs> Okay, um, basically you'll just hold, and you'll see when I hold the stop button, the generator light will light up, and you look for the numbers in here. So, we'll hold that down, light up, and we'll see numbers pop up. Once those numbers set on the hours on the generator, mm -hmm. like there, we'll hit start. Holding it down basically is just priming it. Yeah, okay. Yep. So that's how you start your generator. You'll see, I always look for the microwave, so when the microwave turns on, I know we got 120. Oh, okay. Because it takes a couple Building seconds. Up. Beats and let you know. Yep. Okay. All right. So that's how we run our generator. Um, obviously, a generator will, will run a coach just like you're plugged in the shore power. So each generator on each coach is set up for that coach. Mm -hmm. So being that we have a 30 amp coach, you probably have a 3500 to a 4000 watt This is 30 generator. amps. Uh, yes, 30 amp coach. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, usually, when there's one AC, it's 30 amp. 
Um, two AC three fifty. Okay, right. Yep. I thought it was fifty for some reason. No, nah, it's it's actually too short. It, it could be a fifty. If this was a diesel, it'd probably be a fifty. Yeah. Um, but being that it's short and compact, um, the AC of uh, fifteen hundred thousand or fifteen thousand BTU AC. More than enough. Way more than enough. Yep. Okay. All right. So this is our slide extend and retract for the, the slide in the living room or your dinette slide. Um, that's going to be your water pump. So obviously, if we're dry camping, uh, we have no access to water. Right. Uh, we're going to fill our tank up before we leave the house. Mm -hmm. uh, drive to wherever we're going. Once we get there, we'll hit the water pump button, and that'll uh, feed water through your faucet here. Faucet now, the is bathroom. the tank empty now? Totally empty. Yep. Yep. Now, do you have to prime the pump? Um, or is it self priming? Like sort it's, of it's self priming. Um, sometimes you'll get air in it. Um, if you do get air in it, usually I'll just go in there and loosen it up and let some of the air out. But normally, if you if you just come in, turn it on cold, it'll sputter a little bit. It'll sputter, sputter. It might stop completely, but eventually it'll build up pressure yeah, and, okay. and release the water out. So that that switch is only used when you're using when you're, tank. When you're yeah, when you're using a fresh water tank. Otherwise, when you're plugged into city water, that's all you're gonna need yeah. to feed the whole coach. All right, um, this is going to be your water heater on LP or, or propane, mm -hmm. and then your water heater on 110 electric. Um, very important, if you are camping and you decide you don't want to use LP to heat your water up, and you want to use 110, um, very important, do not turn that 110 switch on until you have water in that water in that hot water tank or a water tank. Um, you'll burn the elements out like within seconds. You're going to show us how to do all that. Yeah. Okay. It, it does it by itself. So basically, if we have water, if we had water in the tank right now, you could hit that, automatically turns up. It heats that element up. Once it heats that element up. So, like, we're going up. over across the street. Yep. And to get hot water, yep. we'll have to make sure the water tank's full. Well, most people most people heat their water up on propane. Okay. The majority of people. Um, you can heat it up on electric, but um, just, it takes a long time. Yeah, it's more, it's it's fast, a lot faster on LP. And you just leave it on LP then the yep. whole time you're camping. Yep. Um, so basically, once the water gets the temperature and um, it'll cut off outside uh, in the burner tube, and once you've got cold water back in the tank, it'll heat the water back up, turn the burner tube on. Um, you don't have to light anything; it does it all itself. So okay. once you hit that button. It starts sparking, it lights as long as there's gas on. If you do see this pilot light out, um, it just means that you either you're out of propane or you have some kind of blockage or something there. Um, okay. That's not allowing like gas valves and so on. So if you see that, um, sometimes if the gas doesn't get to the heater fast enough, um, it goes through three sessions. So click, click, tick, 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 tick. It'll stop, tick, 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 stop, tick, 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 stop. Once it goes through that third um, session of ticking, um, it won't go anymore. So you'll have to come in and you'll just turn it off and turn it back on and it'll do the three again. Sometimes that happens when gas doesn't get back fast enough. Yeah. So. so, in your opinion, never use the 110 for the water heater. Um, Very seldom. If you're, uh, I mean, it doesn't use that much propane yeah. to have to, to warrant using. I just, I'd be afraid of, of those elements. I'd rather have those elements that, I, you can actually use both. Yeah. You can use gas and electric. Oh, at the at same, same time. time? Yep. One of these four years. Um, What's I, I don't, I, I mean, I'm not going to tell you don't use it because right. there's nothing wrong with using right. it. I'm just telling you, if you do use it, make sure that there's water in the tank. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you'll burn the elements out and make it get pretty expensive. We're not hooked up to water. Yeah, that will, yeah, that will. We'll have to hook up the water first, so we did. All right. Um, same thing as the boat, too. These are going to be your indicator. Indicators. So this is our propane. We're full. And it reads across empty, one third, two thirds full. That'll be your battery. Full. Fresh water tank, empty. Black tank, empty. Oh, that's just what I tested. Um, gray, empty. Empty. Um, we have two tanks. Yes, two grays. Um, gray one and gray two normally would be this would be considered your gallery galley sink. Um, same thing as a boat. Yeah. 
and galley sink, and in here, your shower, shower and your and bathroom then. sink would be considered tank two, okay. or depending on the coach, could be tank well, one. Yeah, rear and mid. Yep. So, okay. All right. It's just like a little coat closet here. Very little coat closet. Yeah. <laughs> Not very deep, right? No. <laughs> Right down here. Um, these are just heat vents. Um, this is going to be your awning Why in and out. Two? Uh, they just put two of them there. I don't know. <coughs> uh, maybe this area needs more heat when it gets cold. Um, it's going to be your awning in and out. So obviously, if we're going awning out. While I have this out, I'm just going to give you a couple tips on your awning. Okay. Okay, first tip. When your awning is out, you see that flap that hangs over? Yeah. You want that straight up and down with the ground. Okay. You don't want to hang it over this way or in. Uh, if you hang it over this way, you're overextending the awning. Um, and it can possibly roll backwards in, which is not so. It doesn't stop automatic. You got it out. Yeah, you got it. Stop. When it's yeah. vertical, that's when you stop it. Correct. Yep. How hard is it to get that mildew off? Easy um, enough. Is that just that's just vinyl, right? Anyway. Yeah, a little um, uh, outdoor bleach. Okay. And uh, mix with water. Yeah. Just spray it on, let it sit. That's probably a common problem. Oh yes. <laughs> Especially every single moisture. one. If you roll this awning in with any kind of moisture on it, yeah. you're gonna get that. Yeah. Just know how Especially to in Florida on. because of the humidity. Oh, yeah. Okay, really quick before I come in. If you look out here, you got struts on both sides. Yeah. Um, those struts, um, when it rains, you just want to take a towel or a, like a rag or something. Wipe those struts down before and you close. Before you close it, always you keep a can of silicone spray. Very important for your yep. coach. Um, and spray it down with silicone spray once you wipe it down. That'll keep rust particles off, and it'll just it'll keep working properly for years. Both that. sides. on this and they're pretty bright at night so awning lights it will light this whole area of the back where are the lights uh, right on oh those no. right yeah. um, see them yeah yeah and then you also have your porch light here um i'll show you which button those are over here so that's going to be your awning light and that's going to be your porch light your lights and no, what's the difference between the awning light and the porch light um your awning lights are LED, uh, brighter leds um awning lights are more when you have your awning out at night if you're entertaining or okay. just hanging out underneath the the awning um those will light this whole area where your porch light is if you're leaving just. going away going out to dinner or something you can leave that light on so if you get back and it's dark you can at least see to unlock the door okay or something like that okay good that that uh little stool or uh, step I built was too big. Oh, no, it's perfect. Perfect. Right. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was That'll nervous about thing. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, this is going to be our bunk switch. So that's going to put our bunk down. So if we turn this, obviously that's off, power off to it, on, we'll hit lower. It's gotta be down below. Yeah. Or home in the garage. Probably the yeah. Wait, that, but that front storage is closed up, isn't it? 
you yes. can't see that when yeah, the bed's that's up. That's what I'm saying. So if you want, if you have things that you want to hide away or whatever, and stuff you hardly ever use. Yeah, you can just pull this key out when you leave. Keep the key with you, and nobody could ever get up there. Yeah. So you know, if you have any valuables or personal stuff. So you don't want to put stuff up there that you're going to need regularly. Yeah. But there is a lot of stuff up there. Yeah. For that area. Yeah, yeah, things you don't use very often. What's the weight limit? 750 pounds, usually? Uh, not, that, I don't think that not even that much. Huh? Magnets up there. Magnets. Closed. Wow. All right. You got two cup holders there. Um, fire extinguisher here. storage there. I forgot about that storage. No. Oh. Looks like everybody else did too. Alright, this goes into a bed. So if you look under here, there's a little lever. So if we pull this lever over this way, um, now it will allow us to come down. Obviously you'll move right. these out. That'll sit on the ledge there. Um, and then that the cushion's the cushion the back in. there sits right in the middle. When you're done, you pick it up, you'll just... Oops. Somebody's watch. Somebody's right. watch. Oh, that's a Disney band. <laughs> oh, it is? Yeah, I got a bunch of these at home. Because their name is on them. Yeah, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got more storage here. Um, this is pretty important, too. Um, yeah, they put this in after, so. Um, it's your DVD player. It is connected to that TV. Um, all right, if you look over here, hand the camera that way, you see that green light yep. up there? That's your antenna booster. So when you turn that, hit that button, that light's on, that boosts that antenna. So if you're somewhere that doesn't offer cable, you can't plug in the cable, you're gonna wanna pick up your local channels without cable. You'll have to have that button pressed in. So if you look right here. Oh yeah, a little yep. tiny button. Yep, that's the button that you'll press. Now opposite, if you're hooked up the cable, you'll turn that off right? because you're getting your antenna signal from the cable. So what is this connection for right here <coughs> for cable? Because you're gonna hook the cable underneath. No, your cable is all, all, all hooked that's up. That's what already. I mean. Yeah. So you just take it. But I mean, if you if you go and at the connection at the site, mm -hmm. you'd have your cable coming. Coming into the coach. Right, from out there, yeah. connect. Yep, in your cable. So why would you connect anything in there? Well, you don't. That's that's for satellite hookup. Or something okay, for yeah. satellite, okay. Or a separate antenna feed. Yeah, that's already hooked up okay. to the back of the TV. So, don't worry about that. That's not the thing. But again, uh, I, I mean, I would leave this off because it is pulling 12 volt. Yeah. If you're not using it. So you only turn it on if you don't have cable. Yep. That's your if you don't have cable, you want to set your TVs up, obviously you'll turn it on. I don't even know if they have cable over there. Yeah, they should. Yeah, I, I don't know how great of a place it is. I've never no, seen it. I don't know. Well, it's, 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 it's just convenient. Tonight. Yeah. There's a, did you already make reservations? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a bunch of places on 41, too. I haven't been there that long. Well, we just want to be close. But first yeah. of all, I've, I've only driven this thing once. Down 75 and back for a test drive. Okay. So I said, you know, I'm, I have never backed it up. Yeah. So I wanted to be someplace close. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a good idea because if you have any any issues, obviously you want to be able to yeah. be close enough to bring it back. Where do you guys where do you guys live now? We just live out in Lakewood Ranch. So okay. it's not too, you know. Country Club. Uh, oh, that's so University. Far. Lakewood Ranch is out. University, out by the, past the mall. Yeah, I'm not from, I don't, I, oh, I live from in Lakewood right now. Oh. Yeah, you go you go north and yeah. east. I used to work in the lake so I just moved out here because we bought two new jet skis. Well, I didn't move yet, but I want to move here oh, because yeah. we bought two new jet skis. So closer to the water. Exactly, <laughs> and I like the west coast a lot better than the east coast. Oh yeah, we lived down in Homestead for four years. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was nice, but yeah. well, it's not much nicer on the west coast. Yes, How long have you guys been in 
been down here Florida. six years. We, well, we had a place out on Anna Maria for about 15. Okay. Yeah, condo, just vacation home. Yeah. You ever heard of Scott Paint? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Painting company, yeah. 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 All the yeah. All the paint. All the yeah, yeah, yeah. Big yeah, 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 yeah. Scott, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Perfect. my family's company. So really? Yeah. Yeah, my cousin Scott. He's yeah. from St. Pete. Sweet. Yeah. All right, so that's the light front of there. Those are your front speakers. Again, if you ever open or close these shades, try to do it with two hands. Um, because the worst thing in the world is when these things get unstrong. Yeah. yeah. I know. We had, had them. Pays us a lot of we had them in the house, and I had to restring them myself. I had to learn yeah, how to yeah. do it. Alright, this is the scissor couch. So basically, all you're gonna do, I'm not gonna, you know, okay. about it, but just lift it up from the bottom and then the back slides out. Okay. Um, some people do keep stuff under here. It is kind of a little storage under here. Um, cup holders. Um, all your windows are kind of so that's how you open them. Of an extra chair or something. Mm -hmm. Just swivel those. Um, and that's really it inside. There's a light over here. It's kind of like a reading light. There's a little passenger side overhead. Well, there's there's, there's a little one there too, right? Map yeah. light. That's yeah. cool. Just pull around the front, yep. right? Yep, they're on the string. Um, you know what? We'll go over this now. Right here. I'm just gonna go plug this back in. Extra propane. Gas. Gas. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I have the keys to the car. I'm gonna go get my sweater. on film. Right. Now I just heard a fan come out. Would that have been the fridge? When you plugged in the short power. You heard something come on? Yeah, I hear a little fan running someplace. Yeah, down in here. Oh, that's your, your uh, heat. So long. Oh. That's, uh, yeah, that's the uh, circle in your fan. All right, uh, smoke detector. Um, this is just a fine tune for your antenna. Um, your antenna does not roll up like the old ones. Um, it'll just go. It just turns. Yeah, rotates. So if you, if you are watching off of air channels, um, you just adjust this. Get the best picture. Yeah, fine tune the okay. picture. Right. Yep. All right, up front, um, you got your leveling jacks up there. Um, basically, to work the leveling jacks, you're going to turn the emergency brake on. Let me see if this one has this. One. They're all different. They all have different safety measures. Yep, so you're... Your ignition has to be on. So the motor doesn't have to run, just the ignition on. Yes. Auxiliary. Yep. An emergency brake has to be on? Ah, yes, correct. Okay. So then once that's on, well, it's just showing low voltage now. So. But ma ma mainly you can do your, you can, once you, once I'll put them in auto. Yeah. Or auto level, that'll auto level it. Um, I wouldn't manually use them to yeah. put them down. I would put them down in auto, and if you need to manually adjust, just hit the manual button. Okay. And then maybe if you need to do rear, 
adjust the rear, fronts, you know, that way. How do you know what it's level? Um, it'll tell you. It'll say uh, jacks down. And that, that'll, that'll mean that you're complete and level. So you're ready now to start leveling when it's yeah. blinking like that? Mm hmm Yep. Right now it's a manual. I don't want to put it in. Now why'd you have to start the engine for that? Um, just to charge. Oh. Just to put a charge on. Yep, so if you want the auto level. And the thing about auto leveling is when you do auto level, you want everything in the coach still. So if you're sitting in the seat, your wife is sitting in that seat, you want to stay completely still, no walking back and forth because yeah. it'll, it'll throw the sensors off. Okay. All right. Are you going to do that now? Yeah, I can if you want. Yeah. Let me just make sure we're all on the coach. It has to be pretty level to do the slides, right? Ah, uh, yeah. It should be. So, hit auto. And then just stay still. Set. So when all the lights stop blinking, left, right, center, whatever they are, yep. Yep. does it tell you it's level? It just says jacks down. Yep, it'll say jacks down, and that light will stay gr lit green. Oh, yep. I can't see it from here. It is yeah. green though. Oh, okay. LCI light. Yep. And that's pretty typical. How long it takes, depending on the ground, of course. Yeah. Well, we're we're not very level here. Yeah. Because our our all the slopes down, the down here because of the water. Um, and then to retract them, you just hit retract all jack. Just hold on. It's kind of come down. Does it drop? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty bad. And any blinking light that you see mm -hmm. um, is basically telling you we're, we're not level. So yeah. once, once they're up, it's kind of telling you if you're doing manual that we need more on the front or we need more on the left. Um, How do you know when they're all up? It, these lights will come off. Oh, Your so jacks, they're off yep. now, so they're up. Yep. Okay. Um, one more thing. No, not with this. It was this. So turn it off and just hit that button. So um, it's the same button, not yep. off. Okay, power. Um, your heated mirrors. These are your mirror controls. So if you're doing left, those are your controls for that, right? Mm -hmm. um, these are your lights. Um, emergency start so for instance if your chassis battery is dead mm -hmm. um, and you still have your house batteries you can hold this in okay. start the car start the vehicle and it'll start off your cha your house batteries okay. um, that's a case of emergency take this off um, e-brake e-brake release um, your AC controls, um, so that blue light's on, that means your AC's on, thermostat, um, different venting. Uh, you have two 12 volt, 
charge ports there, and it's just a HDMI, if you have a computer that runs with HDMI, and then your USB charge port mm -hmm. there. Uh, what is that, TF? Um, this is just for your uh, lugs, on well, your lug covers. Oh, lug covers. On the tires, yeah, so this will take the lug covers off. Not the lug wrench, because it's not strong enough. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> What's that little cat for? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Oops. I don't know where this came from. I just didn't move it because I didn't want you to down the road say, oh, well, where's that cat? supposed to go here? Yeah. That's why I just left it there. I don't know whether it was prior customers or. Is that screen the GPS? I won't tell you right now. No, it does not have GPS. So we got radio, compact disc, USB, Bluetooth, audios. Um, set up your camera, dual mirror. Two more settings. Just want to see if you do have. Yeah, this is not a GPS. Um, this brand, that Xera, they don't, I don't think they even make GPS, but those are coming in a lot of the units now. Mm -hmm. Power button, yeah. Where's the reset setup info? Um, that's gonna be for, for this stuff over here on your onboard computer. So our engine, or our engine hour, excuse me, trip. Temperature outside. Uh, yeah, and then that's a, a reset. That's gonna reset's gonna be for your trip mileage. <coughs> and when they do an oil change on it, right. you know, okay. you reset your service lights. Alright. Second set of sunglasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> outside and we'll look at all that stuff. You have any other questions inside? Yeah, if you have any I questions, I mean, <laughs> shoot them at me. I want, them, yeah. want you guys to feel... Uh, there's so much information, don't know. Well, These well, all the have remotes, is, right? They have remotes yes, somewhere? The good thing is you're taping it. Um, all your remotes are going to be in here. So, those are going to be the TV remotes. And that's going to be a DVD player remote. That's going to be all the information. Now we have three TVs. Three radio. Yeah. This, only this two is remotes. all that. The, yeah, this is all. The, but three, all three of the TVs are the same brand. But the prior customer only left two. So. So one remote will run. Well, yeah, all the remotes will run all the TVs. Oh, the same remote. Yeah, they're okay. all the same brand. Here's your license plate. All right. All set. I got some. Is it a good number? Out. Yeah. <laughs> CKB, good number. M63. And you're all set to go? I haven't signed any paperwork yet. You yeah, haven't signed the paperwork. It's not official. Oh, okay. We're getting closer. Right. We're getting closer. Getting closer. Thank you. All right, there, no problem. All right, this is just a catalog that we give you of parts and stuff if you ever want to order anything. I mean, you can come through us or you can go okay. through any of the dealerships. Um, this is a starter kit. Um, okay, so basically this is going to be... This is for a toilet bowl, mm -hmm. so it's just like a sanitizer. Um, what's up, Renee? Hi, how are you? Good. Hi. Everything going Hi. good? Yeah. You like your little footstool that I you made? Isn't that yeah. awesome? Ah, I'm so proud perfect. of it. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted perfect. to kind of give you that in case you guys need to contact okay. me for anything, okay? And 
Sorry to interrupt. Congratulations. No, no is Renee the one I'd call? Yes. Uh, if, no. if you need to speak to me, you, you'll call her. I was telling Jason, from here, we're going right over to Encore. Okay. To see if I can back it in, set it up. Yeah, practice. You know, just do, and we're just there for one night. Okay. Because so, that's what Tom and Barb Brown did. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. went over there and... They said like they, a practice they said they had to call and ask a question. You know, yeah. there's a lot of information. There is a <laughs> lot of information. Thing. Yeah. But uh, so All we're right. just going one night. There you go. Hook it up, stay on it, unhook it in the morning, and. All right. So I have your number. Perfect. Good luck with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be treatment for the toilet. Um, with the toilet. It's it's, uh, it's almost like a Tide Pod, uh, but it's powder. Okay. Um. All right, this is you hear my, so many different things about the toilets on yeah. these things. So my, my advice, uh, honestly, <coughs> don't use that. That's um, what most people buy say. Buy yourself liquid. Yeah. Um, a liquid. Um, That's what we had on the boat for yeah. Marine. Yeah. The Orange Camp Coast stuff, I think it's made by Camp Coast, probably the best stuff I've ever used. Yeah. It's citrus. It smells good and it cleans well. Um, another thing, too, is a lot of people believe, a lot of people go to campgrounds and they open up their valves and just use the bathroom and let it run out not a good idea um, always keep those valves closed you want to keep moisture in there and when it's like two-thirds full then you can dump them um, because you don't want stuff sitting in your tanks right um, and if you know if you do that and leave the valves open your stuff is gonna sit and then the liquid is gonna go out so rather than do that uh, and the reason for that is you have sensors on your black tank and gray tank that's how we know mm -hmm. how full we are um, if you don't leave moisture in there, it'll dry. The toilet paper right. will dry. Everything else yep. will dry in there, and um, it'll dry on those sensors. So, say you go, you're going to go camping. You, yep. you, you use your black water tank and your gray water tank, yep. but you don't want to. And you're going to then store it for three months. Mm -hmm. You're not going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. You need to leave something in there? I would leave clean water in there. Okay, flush it all out and put oh, yeah, clean you know, water. You're, yeah, you're not okay. going to leave dirty water. I was going to say. You're, no, no, you're going to, but what I'm saying is that you don't want to open those valves at the campground and leave them open because you'll get solids in your black tank and they'll dry in your black tank. Yeah. So getting them out is near impossible. Right. And you don't want stuff drying on those sensors because yeah. obviously you won't be able to read the proper. So like in a couple tank. weeks, we're going to go to... Miyaka State Park. We have a couple days, mm -hmm. and I purposely scheduled a site that doesn't have sewer okay. hookup, yep. just water and electric. I mm -hmm. said because I want to know how to work these black water tanks and, mm -hmm. and 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 gray water tank before I really have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I said I want to practice run and then go to the dump station and yeah. dump it. Mm -hmm. But you're saying because we're only going to be saying, there three okay, days. This is this is how I would do it. If if I'm going camping, I'm going camping in this. When I set up, I'll put my slides out, level everything, do all that stuff. Once I'm ready to hook my sewer up, okay, I'll hook my sewer up outside, put it into the septic tank at the campground, um, and obviously if I need to dump anything at that point, I'll dump it, but normally you'll dump when you're leaving right. um, or in the middle of camping when it's starting to get full. Right. Um, if you come in, you hit this indicator, say you hit the black tank and it reads uh, two-thirds full, okay? Um, you're ready to dump now. So you'll go out, you'll, or obviously you're already hooked up because you're camping. You'll go out, you'll pull, you'll pull your black first. You always want to pull the black valve first because that's going to let your solids out. And then your gray is going to wash everything through. Um, obviously gray, oh, gray okay. Water, now I, okay, now gray it makes water sense. water is a cleaner water, so right. you want that going through. So the you leave the, the hose hooked up, yes. but your valve is closed. Yes. And you're filling the tank, yes. even though you're on sewers Correct. so it doesn't go right from the toilet right down right, in it yes. stays in the tank because, okay now because I because the water stay. is going to go and your solids are going to stay right you don't want that. you don't want you, that you want that tank to fill up yeah and then everything wash out at one time exactly okay so that that's that's the best way of doing that and then when you're done say you're done you you just finished you're about to leave the campground you're gonna dump everything you're gonna close your valves up now you open the black water tank first Yep, you open your black first. Then the gray. Let that go through. Then once once you hear it stop moving around, you hear the water stop flowing, you'll close the black, then open the gray. Okay. And wash everything out of your hose. That right. keeps your hose semi clean. And then once you're done with that, you'll close the gray valve. Now both valves are closed. You'll come inside. You can either dump a bucket of water or you can hold the pedal down on the on the toilet. Uh, put your chemical down as the water's going right. down. Okay, that way you're filling, I'd say... 
two minutes worth of water yeah. down the toilet with your chemical. Now, as you're driving home, it's sloshing, sloshing around back and forth. That's cleaning yeah. that tank out. Right. That way you don't have anything solid in there. Right. So that's, that's the best way of doing it. Okay. And that'll make those sensors last. So now if you go to the pump station, mm -hmm. okay, basically you're doing the same thing, but you're pumping at the pump station. I don't even know how a pump station works. <laughs> well, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's technically not pumping right out of your, it's just flowing it's a, yeah it's a gravity flow so yeah you're just it's it's a septic tank and you're pulling your levers and yeah. letting it ride and it's the same way <laughs> right it's letting it go yeah but then after you drain your tank there again you need to put water yep i put some but water again after. that's where you would need water in your freshwater tank at the dump station because well, they may not have a water hook exactly up there. yep exactly okay. correct or i mean if if they do have some access to water there, yeah, sometimes they, they do. do. I mean, yeah, yeah, you, you can just keep a bucket with you, fill yeah. a bucket up, dump it down the black tank. And okay, we'll go over the tanks outside, I guess. Yep. Right? Okay. Um, another thing that I would do, if it was mine, is your chemical. You, when you buy your liquid chemical, um, when you're done camping, pour a little bit down the P trap here. Okay. That way it sits in the P trap, so any oh, keeps food that or anything, sludge. it doesn't. Because it doesn't that water's going to evaporate out of there too. Yep. So you okay. want to keep that kind of smelling fresh in there because pea traps after a while. Don't smell now what about when this is all closed up? You're not going to use it for three months. It's all closed up tighter than a drum. How do you mm -hmm. keep it from uh, mildewing in here or do you put any... Keep the rodents out. Um, like on the boat. What is that stuff we used on the boat? Rig. Yeah, damp, damp rig. Yeah, you can use damp rig. Okay. A lot of people do. Okay, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we'll jump outside. Now, and we'll what go. about, did, did you go over what's um, in the front of the bed underneath here? Um, oh, oh, there? yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't see that. I just, That's see, gonna, when I sat down, I glanced at it. All right, this is going to be your um, carbon monoxide and LP detector. Okay. So, you know, if it goes, sometimes it goes off, hairspray will set it off and dust will set it off. Um, how do you, sh if the alarm goes off, how do you shut you it off? You can't, you don't, you, you really won't be able to shut it off because it's going to go off until it's done oh. detecting that. So you just um, need the to best fan way, it. <laughs> best way of doing it is keeping a can of compressed air, like okay. used for a computer keyboard. Oh, yeah. And spraying that on the sensor and that'll clear it out. Okay. And then this is going to be your breakers and your fuses. Um, everything is labeled. And they always say you should bear, carry some spare yes. fuses. Yes, always carry spare fuses. And the good thing about these is there's LED lights on the side. So if a fuse goes out, it lights up and you know exactly which fuse Oh, which is one's out? out. Oh, right. sweet. So I need to go through and find out what yep. kind of fuses we have and buy a yep. bunch. Yeah, 15s, 30s, 20s, 5s. Well, we and got them all then. Yeah. <laughs> and then one drawer for storage over there. Yep. Have an outlet here. Okay. Any other questions inside? Okay, TV says no signal. Can you pick up a signal with that antenna from here? Yes. So the TV says no signal. Obviously, we're not going to get signal because we're not, we don't have our antenna on. So if we turn our antenna on, we yes. have signals. Sweet. And then you can. Get like obviously if I turn it when it's not good. You get the best picture yeah, for the so you can adjust it. So. Yep. Okay. Sweet. Freeze. <laughs> now does that go off by itself or or you shut it off with a remote yeah, or it? Okay, sweet. Yeah, well, I've already set these TVs up. Okay, that's going to be a no. water pressure regulator. 40 so PSI? Will, yep. So this will adjust it. Well, not adjust, but lower the pressure from... Does that go on the coach side or on the faucet side? This will side? go directly into your city water inlet. Okay. And your hose will go into hose that. Hose onto that, yep. to the coach. Um, this is a reducer from 30 amp to 110. Okay. Uh, the donut, which goes on one side, it goes into the septic tank. Mm -hmm. Now, I've also been reading and seeing people have these little graduated things. Yeah. It says some people ha or some places have local regulations that you have to yeah. have that. Yeah, um, I, I would buy yeah. it. Buy yeah. it yeah. I've seen those, but uh, yeah, it just keeps it up off of the ground, also. Yeah. Then your water hose. Yeah, now, a lot of people, a lot of people say have a spare one because there's some sites you may be more than. 
Yeah. 25 feet Same away. Same thing with the hose. Always have a longer sewer hose. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's get a spare one of those, too. Okay. And then, um... The RV. RV toilet paper, 25-foot water hose, and an extra star kit. How sturdy is that? It's pretty sturdy. Yeah. It's not the cheap, it's not the cheap, cheap, cheap one. Yeah. It's not, I mean, Rhino makes a really nice one. Um, it's not really that expensive. You can get it from Walmart. Pretty good um, solar products. All right. Any other questions inside? Oh, I guess not. I mean, the good thing is you got everything on video, so. I know. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could just imagine if you weren't videotaping and had to go home and think about I know. <laughs> everything I said. Yeah. All right. Outside speakers. That's B. Yep, that should be speakers. Outside entertainment. And out. the same remote will work on this TV. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're all Seikas. Or Seiki. Seiki. Alright. Um, battery at your house batteries. And What's the lockdown for? Um, that's probably the lockdown to hold the battery out. It is in place uh, or something with the hydraulic system. This is your level hydraulic? Yeah, it's your hydraulics for your slides and your levels. And what do these two batteries run? These are the house batteries? Yeah, those are your house batteries. So we're everything behind the driver and passenger seat. Okay. We'll be running off of those. All right. Okay, and you got a fuse. Uh, yep, you got a couple fuses in there, there, pop fuses, so they're blade fuses, so if they pop out, then you just throw the switch. You just push them back yep. in where the little yellow blade is. Same as a boat, too. Yep. Most of the old storage units have plugs, so if you get water inside, you just pull the plug and it'll drain out. Okay. How often do they get wet? No, and if you put oh, these are pretty totally if closed. You put yeah, they, we, they have seals around. But if you leaks something leaks, a bottle or something, exactly. water or something, yeah, okay. You're not stuck trying to mop it out of there. Or something. Yeah. All right. Uh, really quick, right here, um, you have a light on the step, and then you also have a step lock. So basically, if we put our step lock on and we close the door, it's going to lock our step out. That way, if we're camping... Oh, wrong way. That way, if we're camping and we're running in and out of coats all the time, yeah, we not don't going have to in. wait for the, the step yeah. to come out to get out. It'll stay out. So it locks open. Or locks out, I should say. Mm -hmm. okay, let me get a picture of that. It's a metal uh, switch. That's going to be your light. Step light, that's your step. To, uh, What's the to battery stand. switch? The battery um, that, that's your main battery disconnect. So when you're storing this, you're going to want that in the off position. Okay. Unless you're doing something like a uh, refrigerator, cooling it off. Yeah. Um, but that's that's for storage. So we're going to park it for uh, a month, mm -hmm. throw that off. Yeah, that'll kill those batteries up front. It won't allow any 12 volt pull from that. Okay. So, so I can leave the refrigerator on auto because if I shut this off, that shuts off. Yes. So when I come in and I, the night before we go somewhere, all I have to do is turn that switch yeah. on. Just make sure your lights and everything lights are off. off. Yeah. yeah. That'll pull. Because it'll be dead voltage. when you get there, if not. Okay. <clears throat> What's the good thing about that is it's a motor home, so all you got to do is turn it on, and as you turn the ignition on, it's charging the battery. Sure. Okay. Good. All right. Screen. Is there an idiot light on the dashboard saying your batteries are charging when you're driving? So you're just assuming. Mm -hmm. So you won't know your batteries are dead until they're well, dead. Well, we know. I mean, if, if you if you carry a um, voltmeter with yeah, you, yeah, I have one. Yeah, if you carry a voltmeter with you. Just test them. Everyone's yeah. Time. You just test them there. Okay. And then you'll turn the engine on and test them. If they, See if, if, okay. Yep, if they if they go from say twelve four to thirteen six. Yeah. When you turn the engine on, you're you're good. Yeah. All right. This is the outside of your furnace or furnace exhaust. Um, if you are in a cold area and you have your furnace on, just don't lean against this because you will take the skin off. It gets really hot. Um, refrigerator, this is just a service area for your refrigerator. There's nothing you'll ever do in here. Um, but I need to look. Uh, it's plugged in here. Mm -hmm. one in. Um, there's only one outlet there because they don't want you plugging anything else in. Right. The circuits, it's uh, directly for the refrigerator. Um, your electric components, gas components, your elements up here. Um, Where's the pilot light come on? 
uh, in here. Yeah. So that's just for if you manually need to light it. No, that's uh, that's just to, so you can see if it's lit. Oh, it's a little okay. Pinfold. Okay. But it has electric. Yep. So you just throw that switch. Oh, okay. Storage. Oh, that's I saw that's access to to the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you got a little sliding door here. So I was reading. Somebody says it's nice because you can put you take off your dirty shoes mm -hmm. and put them in there, but then you can get them from inside. And I'm thinking, well, what's the <laughs> sense of that? That person had too much time on there. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. What is this little drawer-like thing? Is that where that plug goes? It was up front. Or is that just a finger hole? Oh, uh, yeah, it could be. No, you know what? That's where that little black... Yeah, that's what she was just saying. Yeah, that, that, that's probably yeah, that's, what that's for. Yeah, yeah. Knob. yeah. Okay. okay. All right, we got two 110 outlets here. And they are GFI protected, so that's okay. GFI in the bathroom. same one in the bathroom. Your fresh water fill. Okay. So this is where you fill if you're going on a trip and you know and you're you using that tank. Right? It'll be filled here. Um, the only way to tell how full you are, um, most people just fill it up because it runs out. Run, or you can Look. go inside and, and check the sensor. And see where it's well, and the more water you put in, the more weight you have, yeah, gas you mileage goes down. Exactly. Okay. That is a true statement. Right. Oh, I saw this when we were looking. What's the little vent? Um, this, uh, this just looks like an, another exhaust. This is an exhaust for probably what's over here. The bathroom. Because your water tank's here, that'd be like right below the sink. Where's almost. The water tank. Yeah, the water tank is there. Yeah, this is just an exhaust. They 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 probably uh for any heat that builds up underneath the sink or something, it'll it'll allow hmm. it out of the coach. Cause I asked Jerry when we were looking, he didn't know what it was. Yeah, it, it, this is definitely an exhaust. It's, it's to keep whatever closed in spaces in there, air being allowed to flow out of okay. it. Okay. Um, that right there, that's gonna be your low point drain. Oh, okay. So that'll drain the coach out, the water out of the coach. And we have a light here. Is that that's, how you drain the tank? The, yeah, that's the gonna, fresh be, water that's tank? gonna be your fresh water okay, tank. Okay, so you, Correct. so you never want to leave water in there. Nope. Uh, no, because that water not in the mold. fridge. Yeah, that was the problem we had with the boat. They couldn't have that sulfur. Couldn't drain it taste. enough, and yeah. Um, they do have. Uh, if you ever have an issue with that sulfur, like rotten egg smell, um, they sell carbon filters. Um, you can hook up in line with your hose. Oh, do you recommend that? We've seen a lot of those people say, "Oh, that's the first thing they do. They put the uh, filter." Filter on, and then your pressure regulator mm -hmm. for fresh yeah. water. I, I would, Just as a safety. Yeah, I mean, you never know what water you're drinking from. Yeah. So. I mean, I, I don't really like tap water, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, another storage and. This is where that ladder can go here. Yeah, you can fit that across. There's enough room yeah. for that. Oh. Hopefully, our lawn chairs fit in there, man. That's gonna be tight. Gonna be real tight. Okay. Fill up. I like that's my favorite place to have the tank because you can pull up to the gas station, you can pull past the pump, and it's easy. Yeah, okay. all right. I'm gonna throw the slides in that way we can look at that side without I having to crawl in and watch. Well, it's just a matter of hitting the switch. Yep, I'll let you do it so you have the experience. I'm doing it now. What are you looking for over there? Just I always walk around to see if I'm clear, okay, coming in and out. Okay. So you always want to walk around the coach before you put the slides in. Or or out. Yeah, it's either way. Happy. And then um, you always want to look to make sure there's nothing in the coach, like in front of the bed. Even though your bed doesn't really come in that way, but in front of the slide also. If you have a chair laying on the ground, it'll... Yeah, right here? Yeah, it'll kind of hurt the slide. All right, so... so about that ladder. That yeah, that's fine. That'll be... Don't we have to flip this up or yep. no? No, this, uh, well, yeah, once it comes in.
put this underneath. So I'll pull that out. A second after. Okay. It, done, done, it, done. it goes right to the edge. Okay. And then I'll let you do the next one. That Where's way. the other one done? It's right up on there. Top. All right. Yep. Slide. Extend. Retract. I know. <laughs> That's it. Okay, we'll just make sure the lights are off. Yeah, check the bathroom. That's another nice thing about this coach too is you can get in the bathroom. Yeah, while easily. While the back slide is closed. Yeah. yeah. Some you can't. No, there's a bunch of them you can't. Oh man. Looking good. All right, looking good. I, I can't do this, Jerry. We're backing out. <laughs> yeah, all right. You think I can do this? You got to get through him to do that. <laughs> Not me. I'm a, I'm a big teddy bear. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, um, so you can pull mm -hmm. on this, Coach. Um, we do have a seven-way. Um, this is going to be your exhaust generator. Your generator. Mm -hmm. Correct. Ladder, um, as far as roof maintenance, very, very important. All right, um, I don't know, do you have extended warranty or you get an extended warranty or anything like that? They said it was still under warranty for okay, yeah, the roof well, for so many years. Even with, even with the warranty, extended warranty, anything else, it's very important that you keep on top of this roof. Um, you can send somebody up there if you don't want to get up there, but every six months, jump on the roof, take pictures. If you need any ceiling work done, either bring it in to get sealed or seal it yourself. But just make sure that it gets done and I write down I did this on this date and these are the pictures that way if there's ever an issue where you run past a tree and it scrapes the roof the insurance company can't say oh well he didn't maintain his roof oh, okay so it's very important to keep notes on that because that is the most important thing on yeah the coach. yeah that goes coaching. well we're on a right now we're out in the open but we're on a list we're number three on the list for an undercover mm -hmm. over so okay. hopefully that'll yeah. Well, I mean, just as far as even going routine. down the road, if, if you have a tree limb yeah. hanging off. Yeah, that's, that always makes me nervous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How do you know these things? All right, that's your generator. Um, obviously, we started on the inside. We can also start it from the outside by lifting this up, taking it out, holding this button in the stop position, yep. which is this way. Once it lights up red, then we'll hold it in the start mm -hmm. position. Starts up. This is going to be your oil. Um, very important to check that oil every once in a while. And your generator, you want to run your generator at least once a month yeah. for 30 minutes. That's the problem. At least. People don't run them usually, and that's exactly. the biggest problem with them. Yep. Um, oil's good now. Um, Onan <clears throat> recommends that you service this generator after the first 50 hours, which are not there yet, okay. and then every 100 hours after. Mm -hmm. So one, or 50, 150, 250, and so on. Right. And who does that? You guys do that? Oh uh, yeah, we can do generator services there. Okay. Alright. More storage. Now why is this one got the wood the, the the laminate floor? It's just a finish from the inside. Uh, I'm I don't actually don't really know that. That's a good question. Well, they I mean, probably did the floor before. Well, no, it'd be like a lot of waste of materials. Yeah, you would the, think in this that there would be access up. But see, they even finished the sides. Yeah, everything's finished. Maybe because it's up higher and you can see it, whereas down there, if you open it, people aren't looking in. Excess clothes and stuff. Yeah. Because it's nicer yeah. in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Oh, the important part. The fun part. Pay attention there. This is going to be your job. <laughs> no. You make him do this. <laughs> you make him do this. <laughs> All right. Um, that's going to be your gray. Mm -hmm. um, it's your gray gate valve, your black gate valve. 
black because obviously toilet, thicker pipe, skinnier pipe is going to be your gray. Um, again, always pull black first, mm -hmm. get those solids through, and then once everything's out of that black tank, then you're going to pull your gray. And that'll wash everything through. Now, do you do the black tank and then flush water through it before no. you do the gray? because no. your gray is going to flush the red, oh, that hose okay. out. It's, it's coming out in the same hose. Okay, Great. So. And then um, basically, that's gonna that screws off. There's teeth on it, yep. and then your other thing will screw on there. Okay. Um, you'll run your hose up, and then into there. So it's gonna come through here. Is yep. it's gonna make that curve. Yep. Okay. And then that's it. Now this is where you would store your sewer hose in here. Ah uh, yes. And you water can, hose you, on the other side, away right. from it. Yep. This actually turns, so you oh. can actually turn that down and oh, then come through. Oh, so yeah. after you hook it up, you can just turn it. Yep. Okay. I mean, you can keep it like that, so yeah. when you're ready to hook up to it, you just hook yeah, up. Think... What else would you store in there? Um, Your rubber gloves. Rubber gloves. <laughs> um, anything any kind of rags or anything yeah. you use when you're doing that. Uh, you can store your chemical. You can put like a, um, oh. a little bin in there. Yeah, yeah a little plastic bin of your chemicals like down in there. Yeah. Okay, good. Alright. Now is this... This is your shore power. Your shore power connection. Is that the, hose that go, or the yeah. line that goes with That's the your coach? Hose, yeah. Okay. 90 amp, I mean 30 amp, excuse me. Um, shore power cord. And then under here is going to be your part cable. So that's where you're going to hook your cable up to when you're at the campground. Okay, now you pull into a campground. Well, probably be the, it probably wouldn't happen though. And they only have 50 amp. Um, you, you can get a reducer. You got to buy a reducer. Called the, yeah, it's called it's a probably the other bone. way around. You're probably going to have more 30s yes. with a 50 amp coach yeah. to reduce it down most rather people, than. Most people need the reducer from 50 to yeah. 30. Correct. Very seldom the other way. That is very true. Okay, but it should so be good know to have more than you let know. Leave no, <laughs> Well, we had some with the boat. We had the problem with the boat. We had two thirty amps, mm -hmm. and when we came out to the pedestal, we're, we had to slip at Twin Dolphin Marine and Drainton. We had them both pulled. It. There were only two thirties and one fifty. So I plugged in the two thirties, and we left. We come back like a week later. Refrigerator, water all over, ice melted, foods all bad in the fridge. Yeah. A boat came in next to us, needed 30 amp, unplugged one wow. of our 30s. <laughs> I know. Unbelievable. So we had to, that, that's how I know about that. So <laughs> we had to get a. Okay. Um, this is your second toilet. Is there two toilets in here or one? No, no just, just one. one. Two what? Toilets. One toilet. So that's probably, that's probably going to be your gate, uh, your galley tank. Yes, it is. All right. Well, how so come it has a black handle? You think it'd have a gray handle? Yeah, it should. That's going to be your galley tank, though. So that would be your kitchen sink. Um, so what you're going to do is when, when you're ready to, when you leave here or when you get a chance, you're going to have to buy another hose, a second hose. Your second hose is going to run into here. You're going to get a Y. That Y is in the middle, so those two connections connect to that Y. So this, all this water doesn't go down. No, this is a this is a separate connection from that. So you're going to need two hoses. If you have one already, you're going to need a second hose that connects to a Y, and then a hose to the septic tank. That's so we have two up. gray water tanks. Yep. So you have a galley and a regular gray, and then you have your black tank. Did it make you got that? I don't understand. Now, why would they do that? Why wouldn't it connect into that gray water tank? Because it's in a separate area. I don't know. They, yeah. they need gravity for it. It all has to be gravity fed. Yeah. So in order for it to be back there, it would have to be at a certain pitch. Oh, yeah, and your sink is up here. It, so yeah, it's got to move. In order for it to run properly. So this is just straight down. Yep. So this would be the tank then. Yep. Yeah, and it's empty. Yep. Your tanks are above all of them. So your other two tanks will be in there. This is the outside shower. Wash your feet off if you're at the beach, and that's gonna be your your black tank flush. Very important. Okay, if you ever decide to use this flush, which I wouldn't, but if you choose to, you can. Always make sure that this valve is open. Yep. Oh, open. Yes, open. 
because when you're filling oh, that up, back. it's going up. Go the other way. Exactly. So you don't want that. <laughs> but now you have it here, but you don't have a flush on. That. No. This is. Now why would that be? Because this is flushing that tank over there. Oh, this flushes yes. that tank. There's a hose running back in back of it. Okay, so tank. you really don't need that if you're putting the water in. Exactly. The way I told you to do it's the best way of doing it. So like when we're over there at Encore, mm -hmm. we have that hooked up. Yep. When we go to unhook everything, we drain it, black first, gray second, and then uh, flush all that out, mm -hmm. unhook it, seal it up. Then I have to take that hook today, mm -hmm. take that hose, bring it over here, yes. hook it up, Correct. pull the valve. Do you have to flush that? No. Oh, no, it's just gray water. So we need to get a Y. Yep. So you get two hoses into a Y and then off the Y into the septic. But why is this a black handle? I don't understand that. That's just you think they, it should be gray. Yeah, that's just what they put in. I mean, you sure that's gray? It's yeah. not black. I don't want to get confused over there and pull the wrong one. And <laughs> I mean, you don't have a second toilet. No. So if you only have one toilet, there's only one black tank. Yeah. There's not going to be two black tanks for one toilet. Because your toilet sits directly over your black tank. So yeah. if there's not a toilet here, then it's not a black tank. Great. Okay. Alright. Water connection? Yep. This is going to be your city water connection. So I'll so we'll have that hooked up. Yep. Directly into the park. So water. they're all on this side, too. Yep. And then the. Uh, That's where you'll find it on all the coaches on the driver's side. It's where you're going to have all your connections. Okay, this is your water heater. Um, always, before you, remember I told you with the electric, the 110 on water heater, just make sure there's water in the tank. So pull this little TMP valve, make sure you have water before you turn that electric on or the gas. I always come out and go Wait, hit that. Won't water go all over the... No, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to go here and then run out. This is all sealed on the bottom. Okay. But everything here will light automatically. So when you put that gas on, it'll automatically light. Um, there's a sparker right there. Okay. So it's pretty easy. All right. That's just an extra one they left. Another, another water valve. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be your propane tank. Okay. Um, that's your gauge. Uh, anywhere around three quarters is full. Okay. Um, it doesn't go. It, obviously, um, they allow 20% or uh, 20 pounds in the coach mm -hmm. um, in the tank for expansion. Okay. So your three quarters, between three quarters, and the F is always full. Um, when they do fill, um, they're gonna fill here, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna release air where from do the you, tank there. Where do you get propane? Where um, do they there, you can get it from. Uh, you can get it from Encore, like a lot of those places will sell it. Oh, yeah. Um, propane stations, most campgrounds have a propane okay. station in them. Um, that's your release valve, and then this is your on. Whenever turning this on, you want to make sure that you turn it on very slowly. Um, there's a check valve inside. If you turn this on too fast, you'll hear a click, and that just means that it's locked out. You'll have to turn it back off and then turn it on again real slow. Wouldn't you leave that on most of the time? Yeah, you can leave it on all the time. They yeah. say they say not to under bridges and tunnels and, yeah, and, yeah. and all that stuff. But, and then that's just your propane Let me regulator. Ask you this. As you're looking at this, Jason, mm -hmm. is it possible to hook? I've read about people hooking up. Uh, For a gas grill? Yeah. If you do, um, there are connections. I wouldn't do it on this side of the coast. All your living and stuff right. is done yeah, on the other coast. You'd have to hook it and run so it yeah, under. So you, but, but just remember, wherever you put um, propane, um, there always has to be a regulator in between the yeah. device. So if you went off of that, you'd have to put another regulator under the coach okay. in between that and the quick connect yeah. for the grill. So that may not be worth too much trouble. All right. And that's it. That's it. Um, when you guys go in and pay for it, I'm just going to do a, a couple of adjustments okay. um, to the bar underneath. I took it out on the road and I just want to make sure everything's perfect. Okay. I got a couple questions inside. Okay. First. I think we are, Jerry. Do the paperwork with Gary. Yeah. I got a doctor's appointment if you don't mind. Okay. Thank you so much, Jerry. So, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, I'm here if you need me. And I don't know if you know. Do you remember Alan Rice? Probably not. He bought two coaches here. And he says he knew you. You helped him a couple times. I was talking to him. On, he's a relative of ours. Oh, okay. Cousin. So, I will. He's on his third one now. 
Thank you. So, uh, no problem, Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. Okay, questions. One I can probably figure out. I got home, and of all things, mm -hmm. I said, I don't even know how to turn the windshield wipers on this thing. Oh, right on <laughs> like, remember, I got home, I said, yeah. you know, I don't know anything about this. If it started raining, I wouldn't. That's right here. Oh, just like, okay, yeah. there. Does it have a washer, too? Yeah, you'll push it in for a wash. Okay, you got the wash. So if we turn it on. Um, turning it this way, we'll turn the wipers on, so spinning it. Yep. And then pushing it in real quick with the spray out. Right. Okay. What is this toy tow and haul? Um, that's if you're towing something. It obviously it's built with a um, tow bar on the back. Yeah. So if you're towing, you'll just hit that button, and that'll put you in tow mode. Oh. Okay. So it changes the transmission type yep. of thing. Regulates that. Okay. Okay. So one quick thing: as I'm pulling in, I'm going to back it in over there. Mm -hmm. First thing you do is clear your sight, make sure it's clear. You back it up. Turn it on, emergency brakes on, auxiliaries on, hit the leveling button, yep, auto. Self level. Okay. Yep. You get it all level, mm -hmm. boom, boom, boom. Next thing you do is you hook up your electric, mm -hmm. first step. Yep. All right? Put your slides, bless you. Bless you. Put the slides out, mm -hmm. make sure it's clear, get your slides out. Yep. Once the electric's hooked up, then you hook the water up, mm -hmm. and sewers last. Yeah, I mean, it's all, whatever you, there's no set way of doing it. I know. Uh, whatever <laughs> you're, <laughs> yeah, whatever, I mean, whatever you'll, the, the best thing to do, the most comfortable way to camp is, and the most, the this will save you from a whole bunch of headaches, is when you go home tonight, um, or when you go to the campground tonight, and you're setting up, take a piece of paper, write down, step by step, everything that you have to do, or you're yeah. doing, yeah. and then, and then uh, prioritize everything in yeah. order. So once you get what you're most comfortable with in that yeah. order, that's so, and you just sit the paper wherever in the coach. So when you do get somewhere, you pull that paper out, and that's your setup paper. Um, that's the easiest way of doing it. Okay. Because you, it, it, everybody's different. Some right. people put the slide out and put the jacks down. Some people put the jacks down and the slide out. Um, some people. Well, I read if you if you're not level, the slides may not work real well. You know, it may get. Yeah, but also if you put the slides out, what's to say all your slides are on one side? What's to say that's not going to change your level? Yeah. Because you're putting more weight on this side when you put those slides out. Yeah. So, I mean, it, there's two ways. There's, yeah, but well, you can I've see both ways. I've done this for a long time. Yeah, you can so. see it both ways. Yep. So, I mean, there, there's, there's always different. So, I guess you do it, level it, put your slides out, and if you're coming up and you see the coach sitting like that, mm -hmm. yeah. that can you re-level it again? Um, Once the slides are out, I wouldn't. I mean, you can adjust it manually. You, yeah, you can manually right. adjust it. Okay, we'll just have to figure that. But out. But I mean, it really doesn't matter because you're not really going to notice a, a, a quarter inch yeah. here or a quarter inch there, right. um, and your refrigerator is not going to be affected by right. it unless you're on an angle like this. Right, and, and your drink sliding off the table. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Other questions inside? Oh. The emergency exit is the same handle, just... Um, nope. All you'll do is lift the red handle up. You'll push it out all the way up, and the window will fall out. Oh, it falls out. You jump out. Okay, right. so that's a real emergency. <laughs> that's quite a job. <laughs> I'll catch you. Exactly. That's <laughs> well, this is getting cold. Yeah. Well, I had it it's on. It's not cold. I had it on yesterday also. So. Oh, it's not real cold, but it's yeah, cool. Your freezer will get cold fast. Yeah. That. Oh, yeah, that's definitely... The bottom of it is... Oh, wait, it's definitely. But just leave that on auto all the time. Yep. And then you can adjust this to temperature wherever you need to be. And if it's like the boat, if you're playing with it all the time. Yep. Trying to figure. Okay. okay. Oh boy. Is that it, Ross? I, I guess. Well, the good thing is, um, I'm a little different than most technicians. Okay. If you guys need help, you can call this shop, and I will walk you through it ever. And okay. I don't care if you're in Alaska. If you need to call me. <laughs> And you have an issue with the, okay. with the coach, just call, just call the office and say, put Jason on the phone. Okay. And I'll walk well, you through whatever problem is. Great, thank you. Appreciate no that. Problem. Now, the manuals are all in that bag, I take it. Yep. Okay. All your manuals in there, um, remotes. I think this is good that we're just going across the street to figure all this out. Because we don't have anything else to do today. Yeah. Of course, there's nothing in here. We, 
So we just played around. Um, Are there vents in there that had to be the cleaned? Thing, yeah, the only thing is... Uh, Filters look a little dirty there. Yeah, the, the good thing about these filters though are they uh, they're reus they're reusable, yes. Oh, okay. so Get the air conditioning. Basically, they slide out like that. Yeah. Um, I'm I am going to put in a complaint today about this because I don't like that. Those should be clean. Yeah, Not very happy with that. That and that secret compartment that nobody knows yeah. about yeah. <laughs> and then uh these called these are called air dumps when you first get in the coach and it's really warm um you'll open both of these up that'll dump air directly from the compressor down um that way you're cooling off the coach the quickest faster okay once the coach is cooled off and comfortable for you you'll close, close those up. up and that'll push air through all the vents okay okay so when they're open it's just right here yep. only yep okay. it's right here only but it's pushing yeah. out direct air from the top unit so okay. you're getting the most amount of air in the coach with these dumps open okay why do some people desire a 50 amp versus 30 amp in their coach yeah you know, on this size more amperage um more it's it's it allows you to put more amperage in the coach second ac is the biggest thing okay the second so AC. most people have 50 amp so they can run two acs right okay <clears throat> in a coach this size you don't need two acs you'll freeze yourself out yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Anything I'd say probably thirty, thirty-eight and above. It, I would recommend the second AC. Yeah. Between the thirty-six and thirty-eight above, I'd, I'd recommend that. But okay. Anything below that, it's not necessary, especially when your AC unit's in the middle. Like yeah. If it would have been back there or something, then I would have been nervous that up here wouldn't get. The same yeah. thing, but this is actually in the middle, so it's distributing equally to the front and back. Okay. Well, I appreciate your help on this. Not and, a problem. Uh, Let me throw this thing out. I'm going to keep it for a souvenir. Oh, no. No, we don't. <laughs> we, don't. <laughs> we probably have one. Okay, I'm signing off. <laughs> Hour and 32 minutes. Wow.